Today we are going to fit a Riker Universal Catch Can Kit and these should ideally be installed between your crankcase pressure relief valve and the engine's intake system. All the unwanted engine oil vapour passes through the internal filter and the oil and water particles drain into the catch can sump instead of going back into the engine's intake. This upgrade will help keep your engine and intake system from clogging up with unnecessary oil, which in turn will reduce the possibility of an expensive repair in the future. Ryko stocks direct fitment kits for many makes and models of four-wheel drives. However, if we don't have one available for your vehicle, then you can purchase the RCC 360K Universal Catch Can Kit and correct PCV hose from a trusted Ryko retailer. First, you need to plan out your installation by working out the best spot to mount your Ryko Catch Can. The ideal location for this system should be somewhere close to the access of your engine's PCV system. The Ryko Catch Can Kit comes with its own mounting bracket, however in some cases you may need to modify or make a different bracket to suit your vehicle. Next step is we need to measure and work out what length hose we need to join the crankcase breather to the catch can and then to the vacuum port on the engine's intake system. I have purchased 1 meter of 19 mm Ryko hose and 1 meter of 16 mm Ryko hose separately to complete the job. Now look inside the RCC 360K kit. You will need to select the right reducer and plastic joiner size to match the factory fittings on your vehicle, as well as the Ryko 19 mm and 16 mm hose that I have purchased. Now that I have planned everything out, it's time to install the RCC 360K catch can into the vehicle's engine bay. To install this, I've had to drill two holes in this location here and mount the catch can bracket using the nut and bolt supplied in the kit. You can now insert the catch can into the bracket. With this in place, we can now work out the correct lengths of the hose that we need. Also, make sure you provide enough slack in the hose to allow for engine movement. You can adjust the orientation of the catch can ports like so if needed. I've measured and cut my hose to the crankcase vent port, plumbed it in and secured this using a hose clamp. Now I need to attach it to the bottom catch can port using this Ryko reducer, the supplied plastic connection barb and hose clamp. Now for the top hose, select the right reducer and connection joiner, secure the pipe to the catch can like so, cut the hose and connect using the hose clamp. If you want to install the drain hose, you will need to fit the quick connector to the bottom of the catch can using the seal already fitted. Next, assemble the hose using the elbow quick connector and attach it to the clear PVC plastic hose and black plastic hose end using the supplied hose clamps. Lastly, attach the end plug, which when removed, drains the catch can of any excess fluid. Finally, a quick once over to check all items installed. I recommend you use cable ties in areas that will support the hoses as this is the best practice for a neat and tidy installation. Once you are happy, start the engine and check for any possible vacuum leaks from the hoses and the connections that have been installed. Remember to drain your catch can every 5,000 kilometers and service the internal oil filter if the red indicator on top of the catch can is raised. For more information on Ryko products, visit www.rykofilters.com.au.